Hi everyone, my name is Sifu Liu. Today I got Sifu Jacobs today, right? So uh, I'm in Texas, you know, at uh, Spring Martial Arts. Sifu Jacobs, he is the main teacher, uh, Sifu here. So uh, what style do you teach? We teach primarily Northern Shaolin, Northern Praying Mantis Kung Fu out here. That's yes, great. Sir. So this video is about Wing Chun meet Praying Mantis, right? So uh, Sifu Jacobs, can you tell us a little bit about your martial art journey? Yes, yes, yes. Actually, I grew up at this dojo. I started back in 1995. I was about nine years old and uh, grew up here, learned a lot of different martial arts, uh, concepts, theories, uh, became a better overall individual, helped me grow as a person. Um, after a long time, I was introduced to other martial arts styles. I was introduced to Japanese Jiu Jitsu, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, Hapkido, wow. uh, a lot of different things available to me and I was able to branch out and learn a lot of these dynamic arts including Wing Chun. I see, I see. So so basically, um, you do all these martial arts, uh, but do you teach everything in this school? I try to. When I was able to teach at another school at a period of time in my life, probably about eight, nine years ago, it was back around, I want to say 2010 to 2012, uh, I was able to pick up the other martial arts and as well bring that back here after learning it and becoming good at it and mm -hmm. passing it on to our students here and showing how the, the, the concepts adapt and how they can strengthen what we're already doing to make it a little bit better. That's very good. So today maybe we'll focus in uh, Northern South, uh, Northern Pink Mantis, right? Oh, perfect. So yes, yes. what is the difference between uh, main, uh, Northern South Mantis you know, to all other uh, Chinese Kung Fu? Well, with the Northern Pink Mantis system, a little bit of history on it is when uh, Tong Long um, years and years ago, mm -hmm. <laughs> long time, I mean Chinese martial arts is 5,000 years old, yes. but uh, when Tong Long went to the Shaolin Temple, he challenged the monks to a fight, okay. and he challenged them countless times and he kept getting beaten, and uh, one day he was kicked out after being beaten in a match, and he went into the uh, forest, he picked up a praying mantis, he saw a praying mantis defending himself against a cicada, so he trapped the praying mantis, fed it different bugs, different insects, yes. and started mimicking the movements, very similar to when Da Mo mimicked the movements for the five animal systems. I see, I see. So, so for example, in, if uh, today I want to learn some uh, praying mantis movement from you, what movement you're going to teach me? Uh, what I would like to work with is a very, very basic principle, and a lot of this uh, you can you can consider for Hollywood or a lot of movies is they see the praying mantis hook. Yes. Okay. A lot of it is uh, very dramatized as far as how the action of the hook really works. But what I would like to work with you on is the application and how it's actually um, a very practical technique rather than flashy movement. I see. I see. So, so because you know, for example, uh, Wing Chun, they may be uh, emphasized into a little bit more in uh, close range, right? Yes. yes. So uh, maybe you know, uh, Charlie Fett maybe a bit in long range. Yes. Right. right. I understand every martial they got all different range, right? Yes. But how about? Uh, Pink Mantis, you know, what kind of uh, range do you guys concentrate on? The dynamics of what we try to teach start from long range, mm. get to sh middle range, and then into short range. So mm. that includes long range kicking and punching from Shaolin. Yes. Uh, middle range, working on maybe punching, a knee kick, elbow strikes, and then in close range to work on chin up. I see, I see. So you basically you get the whole set of You try to. Sets, we try to as best we possibly can. Yes, I see. So maybe uh, in this video, you can show us the big combination yes. uh, in Tong Long and also you know how the hook works. Right? Yes, perfect. I would I love see. to. I see. So yeah, keep, keep watching this video. You know, I'm going to learn some Pink Mantis hook and hopefully, you know, we, we, he's going to give me a test to test my skill in this video. So stay tuned. Yeah. Hi, hello everyone, my name is Sifu Leo. Today we got Sifu Jacobs here, right? So he is going to uh, show me some uh, Mantis, isn't it, right? Yes, sir. So uh, what do you want to show me today, you know, about, uh, about Mantis system? Uh, today I want to work on, uh, you can call it the traditional the Mantis hook and how it's actually applied and basic movement to lead into it and then we can work on a technique to uh, apply it with the real person uh, under pressure. That's great. So basically, uh, if people they want to do the Mantis, this is the first movement they learn, is it right? This Almost. is one of the first movements, yes, sir. The, the core movement. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, right. So let's let's go. Yeah. Yeah. So let's uh, start with uh, this basic stance work yeah. on uh, this particular technique. Uh, it would be with uh, one leg forward, one leg backwards, and I would want sixty percent of my weight on the back leg, about forty percent of my weight on the front right. leg. So this way, it allows me to have my hips and my legs loaded for spring movement. I see. And then as far as guard is concerned, if you were looking at the traditional praying mantis, uh, you see a lot of the hooks that are in movies. 
uh, you can also start with a regular guard to protect yourself as you're moving around to get the basic structure of the position. I see, I see. So, so more or less it's like this then? I yes, guess, very, right? very similar, yes, very, very, very similar to this. And, and that way when I want to go forward, I can, I can lift that heel up, push off the back leg, come in, I can push off the front leg and move backwards. Side to side movement, same thing, right and then left. So I'm very, very structured in this position. Uh, working with the hands up to this point, uh, I've got two directions of movement. Of course, I can move my arms to the inside or I can move my arms to the outside. On the uh, position, as I'm moving the arms to the inside, I'm going to start applying use of my hips as well. So as I come around, almost like a sweeping motion here right. to hook, to grab, I'm going to apply the hip here. So it sinks into the floor and allows that hook, that posture, and the redirection of force. Same thing if I come the other direction. As I hook here, I can get this whip motion of my hips. And when one hand comes out, the other hand is up to guard my head, guard my face. A good praying man is they never lose their head because they're always protected mm -hmm. and, and sets in and, and sets. So a block and a pull, block and a pull. And I can use this torquing motion to really deliver a lot of force Right. Uh, for forward pressure or pressure coming towards me. Right. So is it right that I will do one, one hand after one or I can do two hands together? You can do both together, yes both sir. Together. You can do one hand at a time or you can do both together. It just depends on what the pressure is and what is the attacker doing. I If you feed you some, uh, some punch, I can work from this point here so I can work without even footwork or stance position. If I wanted to stand square or if I wanted to stand in stance position, I can do this as well. And I can work from this hook and the other hand's protected, hook, other hand protected. Once I get the basics of the hip rotation with the hook, I can start applying the torque. Mm. Where the torque would apply is as I make this hook is with the pull here and I can pull to off balance. I'm working on a 45 degree angle backwards or if you're pulling as a recovery here I'm working 45 degree angle forward or forward. I see, I see. So maybe you can show our audience you know, a few different uh, angles. You know, yes, yes, yes. So this, this is just a very basic, basic yeah. front angle here and then when I'm ready to pull, let's say I want to pull to your left yeah. arm here, as it comes around I torque and pull to the back. This is uh, the effect you want to achieve. That is, right? that is correct. And as, as you see as you're punching here, when you feed that next one in, I've already got a connection. Mm. You're already going off balance this direction. This is no longer dangerous to me. I that see. allows me to enter in. I see. So this is how we get the angle, basically. Yes. So as I'm I moving see. around here and I hook. I see so like this. And now I'm here for my attack. I see. I yes. See. That's interesting, yeah? So so this is one of the applications. So yes. can you show, you know, like uh, how do you hook and then also you do a few follow-up? Yes, yeah, yes, of course. Like, if I feel you're a punch, you know. So that. I hook here. Yeah, hook as here. I move, move in, I hook here. I'm not using just the hand. Okay, I'm utilizing, I'm utilizing my forearm, so I have the surface area from my elbow mm -hmm. to my wrist, and I hook down. I see. So it's just a small capture so I can maneuver. And, then, yeah. and as I maneuver, I can work my way in. Mm -hmm. This works from the wrist to the arm, upper arm, shoulder, all of the position is the same with the internal part of the hand, mm -hmm. wrist, and forearm as a connection point. Then the shoulder and elbow sink. Oh, I see. To maintain so you've got, you got the down movement as well. That's correct. Yes, sir. I see. So, so for example, if someone punch you, how uh, after the defense hit you, how do you get the angle and then and then what kind of uh, mantis movement you are going to, to use? Here? If I take if I take the angle here, I've already yeah. got the hook and I'm yeah. already pulling to the angle here. This is just straight. I can I come see. straight in for hit knife end to the neck. I can still hook and when I manipulate, I don't want to necessarily manipulate the shoulder per se, but I want to come around the side of the ear and yep. head because I can I manipulate see, balance see. this way. I see. And it can work to the outside, it can work to the inside the same way. I see, I see. As I come across the balance point of the head from the ear right. all the way around here. I see. If you're strong with your yep. neck and you can provide resistance here, I cannot yeah. pull you. But I come from the line of the ear, you so move very easy. easy. Yeah. Very I easy. See. I see. So, so uh, because you, uh, uh, in the interview you talk about uh, mantis, you got a little bit like uh, china, you yes. know, china, maybe a bit wrestling, maybe there's some different kind of uh, attack techniques, right? There's always applications to every movement. So, 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 so maybe yes. can you show us a few different uh, applications, you know, then I can... Sure, a, a very basic yeah. one I was talking about just a minute ago was working from the inside is very simple. Mm. I can also work to the outside of the arm. It's the same hook, same pull. And when I work this pull, I can start attacking to the arm here. If you keep the arm straight, yeah, I can sure. come in, hit okay. to the elbow. Yeah, yeah. If you keep the arm bent, I can still hit to the elbow and manipulate yeah, to the shoulder. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. So I still have the same basic principle of 
hooking right here and I have the torque. And as you're pulling, pushing, I'm just That's staying right. connected. I see. It just stays connected. It's like uh, chi sao with the sticky hands. Mm -hmm. But this is more like the praying mantis that holds onto the stick. So as I'm here and moving around, I'm, I'm able to maintain this posture. Okay. That's this great. can lead into, of course, like I'm talking about yeah, shoulder, shoulder uh, elbow, elbow yeah. shoulder. This can lead into wrist lock. wrist lock. This can lead into a number of different techniques. I see. Hello everyone, my name is Steve Leo. So today, um, you know, uh, basically Sifu Jacobs, he just showed us uh, some uh, mantis hook, right? So I'm going to try, you know, to do it on his brother, right? So he is going to feed me some punch and I'm going to do the mantis hook and see how many I can catch, you know, how many punch I can catch using the mantis hook in 30 seconds. What do you think? Sounds great, sounds yeah? great. And also uh, with my brother, he's not going to tell you what angle he's going to punch. Of course, So it'll make yeah. it a little bit more interesting. Of course, yeah, he can change the angle, he, he can do hook punch and do circ punch, whatever. You want, you know, so let's see. Yep, you know, get ready and yeah. start. Yep, 30 seconds. Yep. So how do you think? I think it looks good. We're gonna work a little bit of timing and uh, getting the, the specific angle for the hook that will be more effective so that way we don't get hit as much in the head. I think you know the, the outside one is difficult. It's very difficult to do because yeah. a lot of the times they're so strong on the outside. Yeah. And one of the things I'd like to point out real quick yep. is with the with the hooking punch, and if I may borrow with you, sir, when you throw the hook punch here, you know, you're very, very strong at this point. If I try to resist at this point, push, 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 yep. I'm gonna go, right? Yeah. It doesn't matter if I have two hands or not, you're, you're you have very good strength yeah. here, you're gonna push me. Right. But if I take the same connection here, but I have a little bit of forward pressure this way. Push. Yep. Yep. So you send the energy outside. I send the energy outside. So working with the hook punches as it's coming in, whether yeah. it's close, it's here, see. outside. Because yeah. even if I don't connect here, yeah. I can connect the energy here. I see. And then I can manipulate, move around, I whatever see. I want to do at that point. That's great. Okay, right. I hope you, you like this little contest about the mantis hook. And if you want to learn more, come and see CVJ comes. <laughs>